Hello and welcome to this new video by the Gamesmith. In this tutorial, we'll be learning how to create a platform or a door that the player can pass through from one direction but not from the other one. Okay, so all I got here is this simple scene in which the player can go left or right, but as you can see, it cannot pass through this wall. This is the wall which will be converting to allow the player to pass from one side to the other, not the opposite. So without wasting any more time, let's jump into Unity and create it. Ok, so first of all I'll need you to select the platform that you want to change and add a simple component which will be a platform effector. Once you add it, just go to the collider and check the box next to used by effector. As you can see here in the scene view, we have this semicircle on the right of the wall. Ok, this semicircle actually indicates the direction in which our collider will take effect from. In other words, the player can now pass from the left of the wall to the right of the wall, but not the opposite. So let's run the game and check if it's working. Now as you can see here, the player can now travel through the wall from left to right, but not from the opposite direction. Ok, so now it's working. But what if we want the player to be able to reverse it mid-game? For example, if we want the player now to press the space bar for half a second, before being able to return back to the left of the screen. We can do so by writing a simple script in C sharp. So let's do it. Okay, we'll start by adding a new component, let's say a new script, and we'll call it platform controller. Once you created it, open it in Visual Studio. After that, we'll need to declare a variable of type platform effector 2D. So public platform effector 2D and we'll call it effector. After that, we'll need to create another public float which we'll call time to open. Then in the start function, we will set our effector to be equal to get component and this component should be platform effector 2D. After that, we'll head to our update function and we'll check if input dot get key up and this key is the space bar, so key code space. In such case, we are checking that the space bar is not pressed. We can set our time to open to be equal to 0.5 seconds. After that, we want to check if there is an input. So input dot get key down. Again, the key code is the space bar. If the player is now pressing the space bar, we want to check if the time to open is met. So if time to open is less than or equal to zero. In this case, we want to have our effector dot rotational offset to be changed to 180. However, if it's not met, we will need to decrease our time to open by a value of time dot delta time. But just to be sure that whenever the player let go of the space bar, the wall returns to its original characteristic, only allowing motion from left to right we will go to our first if statement to check if the spacebar is not pressed and we'll add effectors dot rotational offset and reset this to zero. Now save the script and head back to Unity. Once we're back in Unity, we'll drag and drop the effector 2D to the effector field, run the game, and you'll see that now the player is able to move from left to right normally, not opposite. However, if he press the space bar for half a second, he will be able to pass from right to left. But when he lets go of the space bar, he's able to return back to the normal state. Now, if you learned something new today, please give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and if you have any questions, don't hesitate to leave them in the comment section below. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel and activate the notification bell if you haven't already. This is the Gamesmith, and as usual, 
see you in the next one